Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to jump on and show you some of the things that I decided to put into our morning basket. And I will show you really quick. We are going to do um, some nature anatomy, but I got this great kit off of Amazon for around 30, oh my goodness, 30, Five dollars. Don't quote me on that, but if you guys want to get on here and get your own, it, they sell them individual or they sell them as a set. It's um, by Julia Rothman. Um, so I got a set of three. It came with these beautiful prints and quite a few of them. This is your flowers. It comes with horse parts, feathers, <laughs> the inside of a food truck, a Sunday anatomy, and then a short order egg lingo. So that would be fun. This will actually go with our, we do radish kids. Um, so that's going to go really well with that. Um, oh, I miss these. It comes with tree identifications. It comes with all kinds of different um, herbs. It's really pretty. Your little hens or roosters, sorry, roosters. And barn styles. So these are so pretty and they're really good quality. So you could actually frame these. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those yet, but they came in my box. So like I was saying, I got the farm anatomy, food anatomy, and the nature anatomy. We're not doing anything as of yet with the food anatomy, but we are, or excuse me, farm anatomy, but we are going to do um, some nutrition. So I think that that's going to come in handy um, later on when we start going through some of that. The thing that I really enjoy about them is the illustrations are absolutely beautiful. Um, I liked that they're, they're almost like, they look to me like watercolor. So I really liked it. Plus my son is very visual. And so anytime I can get something that, um, he can look at and then we could read together, I think that really resonates with him. So we're going to be using this. Um, to go along with our life skills with learning how to cook and learning what's in our foods. And then, like I said, we're going to do a nature anatomy. Um, I found this um, just kind of looking online at different options. And then I found... Um, Homeschool On actually did a flip through and review of this book. And so that's kind of what sealed it for me was was going over there. I'll link her video down below. Um, like I said, I got them off of Amazon. My local library actually had them as well. Um, and I checked it out from the library so I could kind of look through it and make sure that the lingo that's in it isn't too advanced. And so after, I think I went to the library and that day after looking through it, I came home and ordered it off of Amazon. Because like I said, I absolutely love the illustrations and I think it's just a very well thought out book. So I'm very much looking forward to going through that and um, learning and seeing how, what we can get out of this. And then I had also went to our local bookstore, our used bookstore, and I picked up both of these, their field guide coloring books. And I ended up paying $2.50 for these. I got a wildflower and a reptile books. And my son, I want him to be able to go and paint is what I'm thinking and so he could do that but if he doesn't want to paint one day or maybe we're out and about and he can't he can actually just color so and then they 
in the front of this book, it actually comes with a whole lot of stickers of the plants. And so you take, everything has a number. So like for instance, this says number one. So then you come in here and you find where that page would be. Let's see. Skip to page. So here is your number one right here. And so you have a sticker and you have your coloring and it gives a little bit of information right here. So I really like the way that that is um, set up. So I thought that would be a good addition. Now this actually will go through the um, frogs and so I got this to go along with this when we do that. And so it comes with different frogs, reptiles, lizards. Uh, I wanna say snakes are back here. Snakes are back here. Not sure what we'll do with snakes. Not, not a fan of snakes. Um, turtles. So I think that that's gonna be really fun. Again, this comes with stickers and I actually felt like this was quite a score. I was really excited when I found this for $2.50. So we got that. The last thing that I found at our local um, used bookstore was a Critters, um, Critters of Arizona pocket guide. So I figured um, when we went out on a hike, we could take this with us and find them. This was um, actually put out by Arizona Game and Fish. And so this is just a pocket guide, which again, I mean, I spent what, $4 on this. So this was a little bit more, but that's okay because it looked like all of the pages were there. It's barely used. It's got a big picture and all of the information that we would need in order to go out, out and about. So sorry if you can hear my dogs. We are currently experiencing a very rare rainstorm and they're barking at the um at the storm so anyway well that's what i i wanted to jump on here and show you guys really quick what we're going to do in our uh, a portion of our morning basket um very excited for this and i tell you what i am in awe of these books i think they're just absolutely beautiful can't wait to get into them and figure out something to do with these beautiful prints so Thanks guys for watching. If you're not subscribed, please head over to my channel and subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye.